Professor Loeb says the object will pass closest to the sun on October 29th when it will be blocked from the sun's view. July 1st, 2025. A dim, almost invisible dot slips across the sky. But it doesn't go unnoticed. Atlas telescopes in Hawaii and South Africa catch it just in time. The movement? Offbeat. The speed? Way too fast. And the path? Wildly hyperbolic. If there's not actual aliens on it, maybe there are active uh, navigational tools on it that go into autopilot as they near a star. And it is trivial to learn whether it belongs here or comes from elsewhere. Astronomers crunched the numbers and realized something shocking. This thing didn't come from around here. It's interstellar, only the third object of its kind ever spotted, right after two I slash Borisov in 2019 and the infamous Oumuamua in 2017. They call it three I slash ATLAS. And early images show something huge. This isn't just a rock, it's active. Around its core, there's a visible coma, a glowing cloud of gas and dust. That means we're looking at a comet, not just a lifeless visitor. That already sets it apart from Oumuamua, which stayed completely silent. No outgassing, no tail, no nothing. Astronomers are tracking a newly spotted visitor to our solar system. It's named 3I Atlas and hails from parts unknown. It's only the third such time an interstellar interloper has been observed in Earth's celestial neighborhood. But Atlas? It's acting more like Borisov, a comet through and through. And that's where it gets weird. If Atlas and Borisov both fit the comet mold, then what was really up with Oumuamua? Why did it behave so differently? Why did it sneak past Earth without a peep, only getting spotted after it had already left the neighborhood? Flashback to October 19, 2017. It's 1.22 a.m. Hawaiian time. Pan Stars 1 is scanning the heavens when something streaks across the lens, faster than any space rock should. Hours later, at the University of Hawaii, astronomer Robert Warrick zooms in on the data. The object's flying in at 26 kilometers per second on a one-way ticket out of the solar system. By the next day, it had a name, C-2017-U1, but the world would come to know it as something far stranger. At first, scientists figured it had to be some weird kind of comet. But just one day later, the follow-up images dropped a bombshell. No tail, no gas, no coma, nothing. So they scratched off the C and renamed it A-2017-U1. But even that didn't sit right for long. This thing didn't behave like an asteroid either. That's when the International Astronomical Union had to step in and make a brand new label just for it, the letter I for interstellar. And with that, the mystery object got its official name, 1I slash Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian. But the clock was ticking fast. Oumuamua was flying away at lightning speed, fading past 24th magnitude, that gave astronomers barely 40 days to study it before it vanished forever. It had zoomed in from the direction of Vega in the constellation Lyra, right from the part of the sky our solar system is drifting toward. At its closest, it passed just 38 million kilometers from the sun, ducking deep inside Mercury's orbit, before slingshotting out on a sharp curve, straight toward Pegasus, never to return. Now here's where it gets wild. Scientists tried tracing its origins by rewinding its path across star charts, but that's like trying to find the cloud that dropped a single raindrop. Over tens or even hundreds of millions of years, tiny nudges from passing stars and galactic waves blurred the trail. One theory? It might have been launched from a distant star system in chaos, maybe flung out by some migrating gas giant in its early days. Then it just drifted and drifted, until fate brought it right past Earth in 2017. But the real twist comes from its spin. Observatories across the globe picked up crazy light changes every 7.3 hours. Its brightness shot up nearly 10 times, then dropped just as fast. That kind of flicker suggests something long and narrow, or flat and wide, flipping over and over like a cigar or even a disc. Could it be a natural shard or something else? Because to this day, 
not a single telescope has managed to get a clear image of it. Both shape theories were still on the table until the European Space Agency dropped a massive twist. When they tracked Oumuamua's path past one astronomical unit, the data revealed something no one expected. It had suddenly sped up. The boost was tiny, sure, just five millionths of a meter per second squared, but it was consistent across every reading. It was real. Now, normally, that kind of acceleration screams comet jets. You know, when heat blasts gas off the surface, giving it a little shove. But here's the thing, there was no gas, no tail, no dust, no vapor, nothing. Every telescope saw a clean, crisp trail behind it, like it was gliding through space without shedding a single particle. And here's where it gets even weirder. Solar radiation at that distance is way too weak to cause that kind of push, unless the object had a wild surface-to-mass ratio. Basically, something super thin and super light, like a massive floating sheet. But how could that even be possible? We're talking about something hundreds of meters across, yet thinner than a sheet of paper. Nature doesn't make stuff like that. So what were we really looking at? NASA pointed its Spitzer Space Telescope at Oumuamua, locking on for 30 full hours. This telescope can spot even faint heat signatures from dusty comets drifting way out past two astronomical units. But what did it find? Nothing. No heat. No dust. No signal at all. Just cold silence. And that silence only made the mystery deeper. Spitzer's silence wasn't the end. It was just the start of something way stranger. Its data showed that Oumuamua's surface reflected 10 times more light than the dark, carbon-rich crusts we see on regular comets. That shine? Unheard of. So scientists asked, could this thing be metallic? By late 2018, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his team decided to run the numbers. Their paper, published in Astrophysical Journal Letters, shook the whole space science world. Loeb didn't hold back. He proposed that no natural process could explain what they were seeing. His theory? Maybe. Just maybe. We were staring at a light sail. Something artificial. A broken probe or a piece of spacecraft. Sent from another star. Boom. That one paper set the internet on fire. Some folks called it genius. Others thought it was just grabbing headlines. But one thing was clear. Oumuamua had people divided. While the world debated aliens, two other scientists, Daryl Seligman and Jennifer Berner, came in with a more down-to-earth theory. They said the answer might be hiding in the shadows, literally. Here's their idea. In the deep freeze of space, where temps hover just above absolute zero, cosmic rays can slowly crack hydrogen molecules free inside chunks of ice. Over millions of years, this turns an ordinary ice rock into a secret hydrogen time bomb. Then when it gets close to the sun and starts warming up, even just a little, those hydrogen pockets leak out, creating a soft, invisible jet. No dust, no vapor, no heat signature, but it gives the object a real push. They called these mystery travelers dark comets. And guess what? This wasn't just a theory anymore. Since then, astronomers have found a whole family of these stealthy objects floating through our solar system. They all share the same strange traits, measurable outward force, but no visible jet. Just clean, quiet, and untraceable motion. So yeah, what started as a single unexplained nudge turned into the birth of an entire new class of cosmic bodies. Still not convinced? Neither is Avi Loeb. Despite the rising hype around the dark comet theory, he stayed loud and firm in his opposition. Across multiple essays and follow-up papers, Loeb argues that the hydrogen ice model doesn't add up. He says it underestimates how quickly the surface would cool as hydrogen escapes, and if there really was gas leaking out, we'd have seen it. But with Oumuamua, nothing. No trail, no glow, no signs at all. Loeb's not backing down. He still believes this object might have been pushed by radiation pressure, like a light sail drifting through space. 
So how do we settle this once and for all? Enter Project Lyra. It's the bold plan laid out by the Interstellar Probe Working Group, and it's unlike anything we've ever attempted. The blueprint? Launch a lightweight spacecraft around 2028, riding aboard either a Falcon Heavy or Starship, then slingshot it past Jupiter for a gravity boost, followed by a dive close to the sun to pull off an intense Oberth burn. The goal? Use the sun's gravity like a cosmic slingshot and fire the probe outward at 20 to 25 astronomical units per year. In theory, that speed would let the probe catch up to Oumuamua, but not until the 2050s. By then, the object will be over 200 astronomical units away, barely visible at magnitude 35. To make this happen, engineers will need to build heat shields tough enough to survive that solar dive, and propulsion tech more powerful than anything we've ever flown. It's a massive gamble, and time isn't on our side. But there might be another way. Instead of chasing a fading ghost, some scientists want to flip the script, wait for the next interstellar object to show up and catch it early. And that moment may have already arrived. On July 1st, 2025, the Minor Planet Center confirmed a new object, 3i slash ATLAS. This one isn't playing hard to get. Unlike Oumuamua, ATLAS looks more like a typical comet, visible activity, familiar behavior, and that's exactly what makes it so crucial. By comparing the weirdness of Oumuamua with the more textbook behavior of Atlas, astronomers finally have a shot at separating what's truly alien from what's just misunderstood. And right on cue, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory has jumped into the action. In July 2025, it dropped its very first, first light image, marking the beginning of full science operations. For the next 10 years, Rubin will sweep the southern skies every few nights, catching supernovas, rogue asteroids, and maybe, just maybe, the next interstellar visitor. With 3i slash ATLAS lighting up the charts and Rubin Observatory on full alert, the race is on. Not just to track these cosmic intruders, but to catch one in real time. For the first time ever, we've got the tools, the data flow, and the global coordination to watch one of these interstellar objects from the moment it crosses the edge of our solar system. And that changes everything. Instead of scrambling to study a blur as it vanishes into deep space, like we did with Oumuamua, scientists now have a chance to plan, prepare, and maybe even intercept. Missions that once sounded impossible are suddenly on the table. Think robotic scouts, high-speed flybys, or even orbiters designed to ride alongside an alien object as it sails through our system. The tech's still catching up, but the vision is clear. And here's the wildest part. If Oumuamua truly was artificial, then the next visitor might prove it, or disprove it once and for all. Every new interstellar object is like a cosmic control test. If Atlas acts like a comet, and the next one does too, maybe Loeb's theory takes a hit. But if even one more object shows unexplained motion, no dust, and no heat, then the case for something stranger starts to build again. Right now, telescopes all over Earth and satellites in orbit are watching the skies like never before. With Rubin scanning every few nights, even the darkest, weirdest objects won't slip by unnoticed. From Hawaii to Chile to space-based observatories, the hunt has turned global. One thing's for sure, Oumuamua cracked the door open, but 3i slash ATLAS is just the beginning. The universe has questions lined up, and we're finally ready to start answering them. This might be our best shot ever at catching one of these mysterious visitors before it vanishes into the void again. If Oumuamua was just a shard of frozen water packed with hidden hydrogen, then it could have been drifting across the galaxy for hundreds of millions of years, a lonely traveler kicked loose from some distant star's oort cloud. But if Avi Loeb is right, and this thing was engineered? Then we're looking at something huge, something world-changing. That would mean another civilization, somewhere out there, cracked the code of interstellar travel long before we even learned how to fly. It could mean Earth has already been spotted. 
Maybe this was just the scout, and maybe something bigger, smarter, more advanced is on its way. Or maybe they looked around and kept going, left us in the dust. We might never know. Right now, the odds still lean toward a natural explanation. But until we get actual material, something we can touch, test, and break down, or unless Ruben starts catching a whole fleet of similar objects, this case stays wide open. So what do you think? Was Umamua just an icy fluke or a signal? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want more wild space stories like this one. This is just the beginning, and the next chapter could drop at any moment.